Hey everybody, so you remember this guy? It's been a while, that's for sure, possibly April, three or four months now. So if you saw one of the last, I think it was in an update video I did, I had totally ruined the surface with uh, a lot of extra layers of paint and stuff, and it was just really bad shape. So today, finally got off my butt, took a file to the whole thing, got rid of the worst lumps, and uh, then I took my belt sander to it with uh, 60 grit, and that really did a number on the surface overall. There's still a lot of filling I have to do. Uh, over here, for example, I cracked this entire length, cut through the uh, plastic here, and uh, over here you can see there's a bit of metal. That's actually the brad that is holding the wing in. And the surface as well is kind of stepped. So, I'm back to not quite square one with this, but it's definitely a little ways back. And what I'm going to do is take another layer of Bondo, go over it. I've got some Avis epoxy, but that stuff is too expensive to really use on this. So my initial plan with this was to get a really nice curve on the surface in both directions and I kinda got there but bringing the surface back down again you can definitely see how it's not even whatsoever so uh, what I'll do is I'll use up the rest of my Bondo on this resurface it well, the mistake I made before was to use some uh, enamel paint to kinda build up the surface and I had done that before and I knew it was a bad idea but I figured well I'll just play it safe this time I'll be real careful it didn't work out so uh, I won't be doing that again that's certain and uh, what I'll do next on this is do another layer of Bondo surface that down give it some primer see how it looks and then I'll uh, bring the surface back to life again so like over here it's got a bit of the curve that you can see here and Unfortunately over on this side it got really stepped and now that I'm actually looking at it I completely wore through the plastic here and this bit of stretch here is the popsicle stick on the far side. And speaking of the inside, what I'm going to do is, part of the problem I'm having with the surfacing the underside is that this plastic flexes. So I've got some, uh, I think it's called Magic Sculpt. And what I'm going to do is pull out all these lights, put a layer of, essentially it's plaster of Paris, put a nice thin layer down on the bottom, try and pop it back out, and then glue it back down. So that should give me a really good surface to work with at long last. And uh, what I'll probably do is instead of using the Sculpey here to embed the lights, I'll... Uh, I don't know at this point. Maybe I'll just go with the Magic Sculpt again and see how that goes. So I think that's pretty much it for this one. And uh, I'm definitely psyched to be getting back to work on it. I've got a new top for it right here. I got a little cracking in the primer there. On for Well, there's cracking all over the place now that I'm really looking at it. So I may just try and strip all this off and start fresh again. Got a lot of holes to drill all over the place to bring it up back to this quality. And we'll see how it goes from there. So uh, definitely looking forward to finishing this one off. It's really close. And we'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching. Catch you all later. See ya.